Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you a super strong Darius jungle cheese. This relies on his fast 305 full clear speed if you get a leash. And basically, you invade the enemy jungle after your full clear. Most junglers don't finish until around 3.30, so this easily lets you invade them on their 5th or 6th camp. If they're a slow clear, you'll get them on their 5th camp. If they are a fast clear, you'll kill them on their 6th camp, since most junglers finish around 3.30. Darius clears so fast because his passive does 300% bonus damage against monsters, plus his Q heals him whenever he hits a smiteable monster with it. I think Darius is just one of those picks that uh, people overlook because they're not familiar of how strong he is as a jungler with 300% bonus damage against monsters on passive, massive healing against monsters on Q. He can do full HP full clears, finish pre-315, leashless. Uh, at least starting off blue buff, I've gotten it all the way down to 3 minute 05, hyper optimized, but... Um, Red buff start is a little bit slower for him, but not bad. We're going to go ahead, auto into Q. You can definitely lead in with Q by starting it at 129, but uh, there's just no need to risk it. Your bleed will do about 324, like level 1, full stack, so here this will just die. We don't really need to turn around for it. Once you get it down to 300 or lower, just walk away level 1. Auto W. Now we want to kill these healthy ones. Whenever your W kills something, it goes on a short cooldown and also refunds mana. You don't have to worry about it too much as a jungler because you'll never run out of mana due to your jungle item. Auto W. Now that we've gotten a few hits on the big one, we can get some hits down on the little ones here. Because we don't want to kill the big one and have all the little ones still needing a bunch of auto attacks. We'll go ahead and get another point into Q to clear faster. Your E doesn't help your clears at all. Q auto W reset. Let's get auto down on each one of them. Auto W. And it should just bleed out from there, honestly, at least the big one. Auto W. Very nice. Set got down a solid wood there. We'll go ahead and smite this. Auto W. Uh, I guess I'll just hit it one more time just in case because we don't want it to reset before the bleed finishes there So with leash off red side, we can do somewhere around a 305 ish Close enough because we're, we're walking away and whatnot We'll go kill him on his last camp. He's only done four camps so far. That's his fifth and then he'll be on his sixth Darius clear so fast I don't think Wukong saw me. Oh, wait. He dashed over. All right. Auto W. Auto into Q. Auto E. He flashed it. We'll go ahead and pull this out a bit. That's the nice thing about the Darius cheese. You, you clear so fast and so healthy. You can finish your full clear and invade the enemy jungler and kill them on their sixth or their fifth camp, depending on, on how fast that champion can clear. So Wukong already loses his flash. We're going to get double scuttle off of that as well. It's a really, really good start for us even without getting a kill. Most junglers finish full clear around 3 minute 30. So since Darius finishes around 3 minute 5, gives us plenty of time to cross over, like I said, into their 5th or 6th camp. Most junglers start bot side best leash possible and just full clear up. Oh, yeah, I don't want to miss. I just want that wave pushed so we can cross over. We need to finish pushing it so he's not vulnerable. I'm just going to smite this and headbot Wukong's there. I'm going to ghost for it. Just need to get autos on this guy. Auto W into Q. Auto E. Oof. Completely whiffed the E there. That was a bit of an oof. Auto W. Down he goes. Yeah, that E was <laughs> a huge oof. Generally, you're going to E... When you can no longer reach them with your auto attacks, so you'll auto, uh, auto W Q, auto E, or auto W Q E. But in that case, that was just an ugly miss. So Wukong misses double scuttle. We can stick around for the full clear since we do farm full HP. The higher level you get, and also the more AD you get, the more exponentially more damage your bleed's going to do due to its 300% bonus damage. You'll find it's it'll really really juice your clears. Auto W. Nice. 
Uh, Lethal Tempo works. You'll find it only starts to do stuff in team fights, and if they focus you down, it's kind of useless. I really like Fleet for the speed up and also the HP. Fleet heals you more the more AD you have, and Darius with his passive gets so much attack damage that it actually heals you a crazy amount. Because level 1, Darius passive gives you, I believe, 40 attack damage. It gives you 30 level 1, and at max rank gives you 230. And uh, Fleet heals you the more AD you have, so Fleet gets kind of crazy. Auto W into Q. Oof, he's trying to reset all mate. I should try a wolf. We are going to be hitting a pre-6 minute 30 level 6 as a jungler. That's super early. Most junglers will hit it around 7 minute 30, which is considered solid. We're hitting it pre-6 minute 30. It's about the same time as top lanes are hitting it. Neither one has a kill to hit it around 6 minute mark. We'll gank the Mundo. We have armor penetration from E. Hey, friend. Oh, he popped his R really early there. Yeah, we can't get to him. He popped R turbo early there. I think Wukong's Krugs are going to be up. Auto W. Let's see. Oh, they are. Cool. Let's smite that out. Thank you very much, bud. Auto W. We see where he went. He's shimmering because we have bleed damage on him. I'll go ahead and cross down for his uh, blue buff, I suppose. Or I could deal with the Trist. I'm moving 340. She is moving 350, so I can't really get to her. I'll take wave, look for reset. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. An absolute outrageous amount. Auto W reset. Hey friend. Auto W Q. Oh wow, that actually kills. Holy crap. <laughs> she chunked me there. I didn't think she had the kill potential to do that. That's kind of funny. First item rush on Darius. You have many, 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 many options. They're getting a lot of early armor on Wukong and uh, the Mundo. I really do like Gale Force early on though. I find Gale Force sets you up for having a lot of extra mobility on the dash plus passively it gives a bunch two percent per complete item outside of boots so yeah we'll be pushing gale force probably into cleaver gale force into dead man's my bad on that trist fight there she chunked press the attack ignite i didn't really i hadn't spent my gold yet so Take this red buff. We got raptors. Might be able to kill their mid. I'm not actually sure where the Wukong's at right now. Kind of lost track of that. Is that on dragon or is or red buff? I'd assume. Let's see. All right. Yeah, they got a ward on dragon. Get with an auto W into Q. Zillion plus Darius. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy late game for us. Wukong's bot side. I should be able to deal with the Trist. Especially with Ghost. Auto W. Zillion gets it. It's whatever. I didn't want to burn Smite Wukong so far away. The Gromp is down. Yeah, I'll go for Trist here. She's pushing up with zero regard to where I'm at on the map. She needs to suffer. Yep, there she is, going for the top. She has tier two boots. She's delayed her first item to go for that. I don't believe this is warded. I guess we'll find out. Get her with an auto W. Get her out of the air with my E. Auto into R. Down you go, Trist. Let's go ahead and get another point in E here. Auto W. Auto R. Down he goes. It's the beauty of Ghost. And R extensions from getting a kill with it. Beautiful. 
auto Q. He's going to lose all of this. He's never going to be able to come back into this game. He's going to have to get a huge shutdown off somebody even then. He's going to be behind in XP and whatnot. I'm not going to let him farm. Most junglers can't solo Darius. Basically anything you can get your hands on, you can solo. So Kindred and Graves will just run away. Anything else though, they can't really fight you. Especially if you're ahead. Auto W into Q. Down he goes. E walk out. Trist is bot side. I could back for Gelforce here or just finish my full clear since I'm already in the area. I'd rather just full clear this. While well, Mundo's dead, actually, you know, I guess it depends. We'll see. Harold gives a lot of gold. I think it's 300. Blue buff gives 90. Bleed's doing a lot more damage now. Wukong's running a weird way here. There he is. Set can't seem to get to him though. Wukong's moving pretty fast. His R speeds him up. It's a decent speed up. Get the plant, Zillion. Auto W, Zillion no R. They're not going to want to fight this. Auto into Q. Auto W. Let's ward over the wall. Let's pull this back a little bit so I can get behind it a bit easier. Now, Brand's trying to get a ward down on this, I think. And that is 300 gold. I like it. I don't think this is worded. I can kill Moon. I'll smite him to slow and walk up. Auto W, Q, Auto E. My E will, will scrape off his passive, which will do some damage. Auto W, Q, Auto E. I'm going to have to just rod W there to stay in range. Q into R. He doesn't die from that. He certainly gets chunked, though. I want his turret. This is a lot of gold we're about to get. Windows too low to stay. He's going to lose the whole thing. And I'll look to reset. Harold scrapes about a plate and a half. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. We're sitting on 4k gold, 13 minutes in. Not bad at all. We can pick up our Gale Force Tier 2 booster team is pretty much all physical damage for the most part. I'm down for Dead Man's. I'm down for Cleaver. Any item we finish gives us an additional 2% movement speed, which is like actually a lot. <laughs> it's super, super useful. Moving around at 420 because free boots is an additional plus 10 movement speed. Plus Darius already has decent base movement speed. So we're moving pretty fast, plus cloud drag. That's why we're moving uh, out of combat above 400. Must shame is tier two, tier two boots are moving like 380. We get a little speed up off of fleet as well. As we go in combat and hit something with an auto. She's about to walk into me. Take off her movement speed there. Auto WQ. E auto. And uh, oh, I don't have my R. Oh, I'm actually going to die. I got my speed up. That was awkward. I thought I had my R and I was trying to splash both of them. That's my bad. I need to heal up real quick. Your Q heals you the lower on health you are when you hit a large monster. When you hit a smiteable monster, I should say. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. Bleed at this point does gnarly damage. So it makes Derry so good at taking dragons and heralds and barons. You get your full bleed stack and you can sit there and munch on him. Nice, level 11. It's two points in R. You can swap to oracles at this point. You can get oracles earlier, like around the time you're going to do drags, or you can just hold on to warding totem. Either is fine. Auto W, gone with smite. Auto into Q. Got it. Thank you, MF. My jungle items finished 15 minute marks. That's pretty early for a jungler. Junglers finish 15 to 19 minute mark typically. We hit at 15s on the early side. I don't do it, Kaisa. I need that XP. I get more XP from it since I have jungle item than her. Landers don't get much XP at all. They really only get the gold. 
E, Mundo. You're smited, E, auto WQ. You're dead. Goodbye, MF. There's one top, one mid, one bot. I'm free to take all, everything. Auto W. Auto in the Q, auto W. I think I have the flank on Bran here. Wait, did he, where the heck did he go? He didn't reset that first. Wukong's bot side, we'll take his top side jungle. Auto W. And that is it, they quit. We'll go ahead and do a part two because this game was so short. Give you guys some more fleet Darius jungle action. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of Darius in the jungle with fleet. We're going to be running the same exact cheat strat, finishing somewhere around 3 minute 05, then pushing the enemy's jungle to kill them since most junglers finish their full clear around 3 minute 30. It is up against Rangar. He ran first strike. I think fleet's going to be a lot more useful. The heal is going to outpace the damage from first strike. On top of that, the speed up is really nice. That's something to keep in mind about first strike. I've kind of uh, warmed up to it a little bit. The speed up on it alone oftentimes lets you land several more auto attacks, which is more damage than most keystones can even give you in general in many situations. So outside of ultra late game team fights where conquer or triumph could be better. I really like the fleet early on because it, it speeds up your clears, even though it doesn't do more damage to monsters. No keystone does more damage to monsters, except fleet and Arax where we're getting a heal and a speed up. So the speed up getting from camp to camp a second or two faster is kind of cool. So this time we'll start our Q like 129 and get it off to begin with. Tipper it. Just like so. Q auto, that way we're not having to wait for it to go off. Granted, we're missing out on the heal, but we don't really need it. Because obviously we're queuing it when we're at full health. The, the heal is not being assessed. We're not actually getting to it. Auto in the W reset. You can pull away once it's below 300 health. It'll die before it'll reset. So if you have it at like 280 or lower. Level 1 full bleed stacks. Olaf ran barrier. That's really interesting. I want to try that. Because like, I know Warwick does that. But I've never seen Olaf go barrier top side. It's pretty cool. Into a Q lead in. Auto W reset. Auto W. Auto into Q tipper. I think Wolf should die from that. Yep. We get another point in Q. If Rengar invades us, he's going to be very, very sad. Most people don't realize just how healthy Darius farms. They don't realize his Q heals him off monsters. They don't realize 300% bonus damage against monsters either. Auto W into Q. Get that little fleet speed up. Fleet heal. Auto W. I'm not seeing him. And the cool thing is we don't have to take potion either. I haven't used this smite charge yet. Holy crap. Auto W. Down it goes. Imagine if he stole that, if he just randomly showed up. That would really suck. An auto on him. Auto W. Auto into Q. So yeah, this one was more like a 303 full clear. Because we're already pathing to where we want to be. One lives, but it's whatever. Rengar path bot side. He still has... Wait. He did a three camp bot side in the game. So he sat there for 10 years. He loses everything. He loses everything, dude. You can't do that, Rengar. You're going to wish you hadn't done that. It's not going to be worth it. How much XP you're going to lose. Auto W. Auto Q. I'm going to get a ward down so we'll see him come in nice and early. I doubt he's going to stay for bot side scuttle. I very much so doubt it. I'm going to lay it really far forward so we can see him coming. I should have waited. I should have actually done it here over the wall to get a little bit more information. Oh, he's still bot side. Dude's a clown. What is he doing? I'm level five. <laughs> what? Dude's level three. My goodness. It's not worth it. That gold is not worth it. I'm going to hit an earlier level six. As a jungler, that's huge. I don't know if this is ordered or not. I want that cannon though. I don't think it is worded the way she's acting. She's kind of just holding on to it. 
Well, ghost for this. We get an auto and a WQ. Auto. I'm going to hold on to E. I don't need to use it here. I just want this push. I'm about to hit a super early level 6. I think his wraps are up. He's going to probably have resetted. Auto and a Q. His Krug should be up as well. He 3 can't boss. So he did like red wraps into Krugs. He got a lot out of it. But boy, he lost a lot out of it too. We punished him for it. It's a nice thing about finishing our clear early. Is we can punish those type of shenanigans. Oh, hey, buddy. I see ya. I don't want to fight him here because he does have his items. So it wouldn't really make sense to. Even if he's two levels down. If I had R, I could fight him there. Being three levels up. But I don't have R and he has item advantage. It wouldn't make sense. Auto W. I could just stay in full clear. Don't even really have to bat, per se. You just push back into his jungle full clear. Keep, keep up my recycling loop here. punish him the way he's playing was the meta for the first three three and a half months of season 13 this year but then they made monster camps give a little bit more gold and they also let you take the enemy jungle camps just as fast as your own now so the way he's playing is a little bit outdated i think personally even though he's getting kills he's leeching xp and stuff I don't think it's really worth. He's level four, six minutes in. I'm level six. Like, I was like five, level six, like five minute thirty in. I'll take wolves here. Split up is clear. Auto W. I think Vex just saw me potentially. I'll cue this down. Smite it. I think it's gonna reset. So whatever. What was Vex even doing there? That was weird. Did she see me? It's very strange. Riven's super far behind. She might come and mess with me, though. Not too worried about it. I'll go ahead and reset here. We could look for the pinch. She's already so far behind. Olaf won't need me. My red buff coming up in 40. I could just leave my blue buff there. You know, I'll go for... Uh, I'll go Gale Force again this game. Gale Force is ultra hype. Cryo on Darius. I'll hold on to Warding Totem. I'm only pushing out this way, even though I think my blue might be gone, because I think he's on Dragon. If you took my blue into Dragon, I can stop him in time. If he's on Dragon, then I'll get my blue. He doesn't have time to do both. Nice job on the Olaf. Played it. It's a beautiful early purchase for Olaf against double physical top and jungle. Okay, so he took my blue. He may or may not be on Dragon. And it yep, exactly what I thought would happen. You can't, you can't have it all, buddy. You absolutely cannot have it all. Auto into Q. Thank you for dragon, because he wanted my blue. He's level five, nearly eight minutes in. What is Vex doing here? This is so strange. Like, I feel like Rengar is over here too. He's trying to get me at the bush. Nice try, buddy. Auto WR. Auto into R. And Vagar got me. I wasn't expecting that Vagar rotation there. E auto W. Easy peasy on Rangar. Dropped a big dookie in his mouth. Hit level 6 off a of minion XP, I think. Uh, I am going to still hold on to Warding Totem. I don't care. Go for my red buff side since that's all up. Could even go possibly kill him on his blue. He'll probably take it before I can get there though. He's very bursty with his camps. And Nivea still has eggs. She just needs to get underneath turret. Nice flash. Probably didn't need to though since Vex doesn't have R or whatever. Maybe I'll just do red into Harold. Harold's 300 gold. Auto WQ. I already pinged out the Riven if my bot lane dies. You deserve it. Rengar's bot side. Dude, you're going to lose your camps again. Oh my gosh. This guy's crazy. It is not turbo gank meta. That is not really a thing anymore. At least not versus a huge power farm style jungler like Darius. 
Darius is the best of both worlds, man. He can gank, he can solo, he can uh, farm. There's really nothing he can't do. Come on, die. He's gonna lose these camps again. Hopefully he's not in my jungle. Hopefully he just kind of wanders off and doesn't really get anything. Oh, WQ. Buttery smooth. Is this warded? Oh, it is. Cool. I need Olaf to press his buttons here. These guys always have a ward, I swear. They always do. I'll go ahead and keep pushing this. I'm gonna stay away from bush. Oh, Rengar must be here. What is Vex doing? Yeah, he's the yep. This oh Rengar players, man. They're so predictable. <laughs> what in the world? I got big boy, fed boy Olaf over here with plated. Rengar's gonna do nothing versus that. Nice try. Got double his CS. Vex keeps rotating for me. What a turd. Who does she think she is? Got them off me with the hook. I have to use the gap closers to get to me. It's a very long CC. Even once the hook ends, they're slowed a lot. Auto W. Put that raptor down. Blue buff up at some point. Graze a minute or less. You can push back into this jungle here. That fleet speed up so nice. Hey friend. Auto D W. Got smite on him. Auto E. Auto R. I'm on ghost extensions. This chick's fast though. I would love to get to somebody here. Can't can't do it. Oh, I'm not fast enough yet. I need blue jungle item finished. I need a little bit more camps to do that. Riven's perma roaming. His top lane's finished. Auto W. Looks like Anivia's probably going to die though. I can't save her. I'm too far away. We got a crit there. That's cool. Crit Darius animation's very spicy looking. Look at he just slaps him with his axe. <laughs> oh man. There's bot side there. Rengar. I'll go to mid, take the wave. What does her think she's doing? Auto W, smite. Are you gonna hit me? Alright, no, she's just gonna flash it in and get the plate. Sucks for her. She's low. She kind of has to just keep running. Vanguard can't fight me. He's low on HP as well. Auto W. They need Vigar to rotate. Get me in the cage. He's going to do it. He's going to put me in the cage. Let's pull this out. More, Nivia. More. That was a good wall. I like that. Nice. Hey, friends. Vex gets a shutdown on Olaf. Olaf doing a little bit of trolling over there. He really shouldn't be dying. How much there is for him to lose. The big shutdown. Thousand gold to Vex. I need to lay this bad boy like right now. Auto W in the queue. We need to delay and get plates because it's about to be 14 minute mark. At 14 minute mark, plates fall off. Rengar loses all of his camps. Auto into W. Not sure where Riven is. Okay, I see her now. We did get the turret. That's pretty cool. Auto WQ. That's even cooler right there. We gotta run away from where Rengar's probably gonna be. I'll go to Wolves. Oh wait, Rengar's bot side. His blue's up in 40. 53 CS, absolute legend, man. He's a farming machine. Mean lean kitty cat. 
Auto W. I think I can solo anyone on the enemy team quite comfortably, even without spending my 3k gold. I believe. Oh cool, I have a little portal I can take. Nice. It's gonna make taking his camps even easier. Let's get a word down right there, make sure they don't know I'm here. They don't seem to know I'm here right there. Rengar's gonna be here shortly. I probably only have time to do blue grot. Oops, I was trying to smite blue to pull them together there. Couldn't quite pinch it. Riven has Gale Force, that's kind of interesting. It's on cooldown. When can I take it again? No way. It really make you wait quite some time. Nice. Down goes the Rengar. I need to reset. I'm sitting on too much gold. <coughs> the risk reward is all off when I'm sitting on 4k. Because if they kill me, they get shut down whether I spend my gold or not. I'm thinking of Merc Treads versus their team. But Rengar has lethality. Maybe I just pick up a Force of Nature second item. Force of Nature is way better than Dead Man's in terms of actually tanking. Why, you may ask? Well, Dead Man's has been turbo nerfed to the ground. 300 health, 45 armor. 350 health, 70 magic resist. It's almost a double the MR as the other one gives armor. So, Force of Nature it is. We have Plated to deal with the Ringar autos, Zaya autos, and Riven autos. You can certainly go for Swifties. My team lacks a front line to where I'm kind of the main front liner though, so I'd rather have tanky boots to help me out with that. Olaf doing a 1v5, as Olaf's do. I have bush speed up here. I assume I'm on a bunch of words. I need to hang around this bush to maintain my speed. Uh, I got some of the wraps, not all of them there. I want to get this Krug real quick. Basically, I'm playing Farming Simulator right now. Because why not? 14 minute mark, you get full XP from minions as a jungler. I'll take the wave real quick. Push it in, apply some pressure. Since we're already over here, there's no reason not to. Oh, it is warded. I want to grab Scuttle real quick. I can full, full loop back around. I'll unmute the enemies. I'm curious if they have anything polite to say. It's my auto WQ. Bleed should be able to finish it from here. Nice. I was right. Look at that. Attack speed, an AD from Gale Force. Certainly going a long way right now. Even the crit. Ringer at 59 CS, that's kind of intense. 17 minutes in. You don't see that every day <laughs> on a Ringar. That's what happens, man. That's the counter punch. He wants to play super, super, super gank heavy and neglect his jungle pretty much entirely. Yeah, that was absurd how much I had to use to get away there. I think we lose that dragon. Ooh, if Rengar is by himself, I can actually kill him. He doesn't have R. Whoa, how'd she know I was there? I'd rather not lose drag. There's only so much I can do by myself, though. Q, E... A WR. I need bush speed up. R. Smite. I get that bush speed up, my dude. Pray for your sins. Auto WR. Down you go. Bush speed up's no joke, man. <laughs> if there's a bush involved, I'm coming for you. I'm going to beat that bush. <laughs> That's something you really do have to watch out for. With junglers, you have to pay attention to which smite did they go for, red, blue, or green. The blue's by far most impactful. Like Red's just a slow, tiny bit of damage. Green's a little bit of extra tenacity in a shield. The blue one, though, them just straight up, straight up being able to run you down is kind of game-breaking. Because even if she was, if I had tier one boots and she had tier twos, I still would have been able to run her down there because the speed up's that substantial. 
it far outweighs the uh, impact of tier 2 boots versus tier 1 boots. Nice. Where's Rengar here? Auto W into Q. Keep maxing our E second. They're not really even dealing with me here. They're kind of just ignoring me. No, I took a turret shot. All right, let's go back to clearing here. I want to get up to 200 CS. No, Olaf's going in my jungle. Dang. Everyone wants to farm my camps. Auto in the queue. Auto W. Nice. Please, Olaf. Nice. Alright, we can do this too. Just us two. I have all the extra bleed damage. He's Olaf. He should tank it so he could get more attack speed. Plus, this lets my bleed do the full damage output instead of me doing half damage. Whoever tanks does 50% reduce. He's the one with true damage, so he should realistically be the one tanking. Got it. We're both full hell, too, just about. <laughs> Baron's such a joke objective. 20 minutes in, we, we got it. 2v1 like it's nothing. Yep, it's time for Forest, and it's time for Deadmans, and it's time for Ruby Crystal. Let's go. It's time to wrap this game up. Time to put these, put these kids to sleep. Read my bedtime story. It's like give them a big old dunk. They don't have many items. Like they're all one one item, one item, one item, two item, one item. We're at three Olaf's at four. Good lord. Z's up there. Oh, they still have a turret here. Vengar's running off looking for his camps. There's nothing though. I'm moving 493 out of combat. Rengar, I'm coming for you. You can't outrun me, buddy. Even with those nonsensical snares. Well, maybe. He doesn't have blue jungle item. He can't outrun me. He shouldn't have ran towards the bushes. Auto W. Auto. Oh, well. He did that. Well played to him. Didn't really want to have to use my R there. Burn flash at least. We're going to Q, Gal Force. Boom! Down he goes. Is there anyone left? Just Vigar? Again with a smite E. Missed the E, and that's game.